to find the area of these two um, plane shapes, let's focus on this first one. This plane shape is pretty much a rectangle, um, but it's made up of two triangle pieces. So let's focus on this bottom triangle here. In focusing on that bottom triangle, recognize that um, the 14 that we see here resembles the information we have for the 2x. So using the 30, 60, 90 triangle rule, we recognize that 2x and 14 are essentially the same thing. So you can say 2x is equal to 14. 2x is equal to 14, which makes x equal to 7. Now, if you focus on the formula for the 30, 60, 90 rule, you recognize that the x information is the, uh, is the length facing the 30 degree angle. So the x faces 30 degrees, while 60 faces x root 3. So because we know the x is 7 here, we know this must be the length representing the side facing 30 in our question. And this angle 30 here is, being, is facing the side, this side. So as a result, we can say that um, this side is your 7. Um, in the same way, we want to focus on finding um, what this length is. And this length is, this side here is facing 60 degrees. So if you look at the 60 degrees, we look to the side facing it, that's x root 3. We already know the x is 7. So as a result, we can say that this side is going to be 7 root 3. So because of this, we know that to find the area of a rectangle is simply um, length times, is simply length times width. Well, we know the length is 7 and the width is uh, 7 root 3, which puts us at 49 root 3 for the area of this rectangle. To solve uh, this bottom shape here, this bottom shape has many parts. So the key idea here is to make sure you can cut off um, the parts. in. You want to cut off this big shape into known parts. So for example, if you watch what I'm doing here, I'm going to cut this off right here and make uh, a rectangle a little uh, rectangle out of there then I'm going to cut off this other section here and make a long rectangle off of there and I'm also going to cut off um, again over here to make a little square out of there and as a result that also creates another rectangle at the bottom and at this point, it's pretty easy to solve because all we need to do is um, multiply the length and width in each case. Another demarcation we probably need to make is not re realizing that this is 6, but also recognizing that there is a 2 here and there is a 2 here. So really, from this length all the way down is a value of 4. Well, with the 6 we have here, it makes this section 2. So we can go ahead and say, from there to there is 2, and as a result, from there to the bottom here is going to be 4. Um, that helps us a bunch. So now let's try to find the area of this section. The area of this then, as a result, will be 4 times 2, which gives us an 8 over there. The area of this uh, rectangle up here will be this 8 times 2, which puts us at 16. The area of um, the area of this square here will be two times two because if you could see here, see there's a two here, but all of this is four, so that means this little section will be a two as well. So two times two, which gives us four there. Um, and then to find this little rectangle here is two times four, which puts us at an at eight. So as a result, to find the area of this whole shape. We pretty much add up all the the areas of the little sections. So we're gonna have eight plus four plus sixteen plus eight. Well, we know the four and sixteen is gonna give us twenty. The eight and eight gives us sixteen, and that puts us at thirty-six. Thank you.